hello there my friends welcome to the channel and thank you for watching my match review between england and germany i didn't really want to make this video or another review in euros and all that because i'm still hurting from the game between france and switzerland but i decided to make it anyways because it was a very good game of football i was watching the game and i was enjoying myself I couldn't believe that England could put that kind of performance. You know, I've been very critical, not only me, but everybody that I know, been very critical with uh, England and uh, uh, Southgate and his choices, his tactics and all that. Everybody is victim of that. So I think we should go back and say uh, congratulations to England, uh, apologize to Southgate. but man what a game of football what a game of football two nil at the end sterling and ken and oh my goodness you can criticize sterling whatever you want okay you can criticize pickford whatever you want harry ken whatever you want they don't do anything for their countries but they are big uh, they are big big games players if you know what i mean when it matter they are going to deliver man i've been also very critical of pickford especially because you know in the club level we we all know how uh, he concedes some stupid goals here and there but in the national team i am telling you pickford is like the best of the best and uh, you have to trust the uh, um the manager you know south get choices because for me before the euros i was saying no you have to give Dean Anderson or somebody else the number one spot. But Gareth still believing on Pickford and uh, Pickford is just paying back uh, the confidence and, and the, uh, you know, that uh, the manager is uh, giving to him. So Pickford, world class, Sterling, everybody been on his case, you know, calling him names. He need to be benched. But so far he's been scoring for fun in this euros you know what i mean not like for fun but you know what i'm trying to say he's always there you know the last touch and um, yeah he kicked off everything pretty much my goodness congratulations to england and germany you have nobody to blame but yourself timo verna <laughs> missed few sitters as per usual i was expecting more from my boy Timo Werner. I'm so disappointed. I'm happy now that they can go relax so we can start the preseason uh, so he can, you know, he can play next season and all that. But I am not happy the fact that he didn't score in this Euros and he had man, like I say, clear chances. He couldn't take them. Man, and uh, Mula. <laughs> what are you doing, brother? One-on-one -on -one, Mula. To make it 1-1 one, one. Raheem Sterling head was in his hand <laughs> were in his head already because everybody thought he was going to score one on one he was put through I don't know by Kai Harvard or somebody man how can you miss that if he scored that they were going to have the momentum and they were going to win the game at the end so they had clear chances they couldn't take them and in this level, in this level, you're going to pay for it. You are going to pay for it. You don't take your chances, you're going to pay for it. Let me make it clear. I didn't support any team today because I always pick a side before the game. But today, I wasn't sure even if I was going to watch the game. I'm still hurting, you know. We, we are out of the competition. So the competition pretty much means nothing to me. So... Uh, I decided the last minute to watch the game and uh, support whoever is going to win. Mason Mount wasn't even playing. The, 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 the Champions League winner, Rhys James, was on the bench. So it was, I, I, I didn't pick up a side this time. I was like, yeah, let the best win. And uh, because of Mason Mount wasn't there, um, Ben Shiro wasn't there, I was thinking, oh, they are not going to win this game. You know, but they proved me wrong. They proved me damn wrong. And England, if you don't win, 
euros this time it's gonna be a big big l to you because now you have a chance france out okay portugal out and the next games are going to be in your favor most of the games are played in your freaking country what else what excuse are you gonna give okay this time is coming home so all the english people that will watch this video do you believe now that uh, it's coming home <laughs> okay it's coming home because they played without Mason mount without um, uh, uh phil foden you know without ben shiwa but they you know they, they won so they still have very very good element in that team that can go and win it all and let me just mention jack grealish wow <laughs> wow what a pass what a pass to harry kane jack grealish that's why we've been asking for do the right thing do the right thing uh southgate put jack grealish there because he can create some magic and he did you see the, you see a big difference when that guy is on the field but hey i hope that uh, he learned his lesson because in this level if you don't play your best team if you don't perform and then you're gonna get punished so from now on i see england <laughs> they, they are one of the favorite to be honest with you they are one of the favorite and um uh big up also to look show because look show was immense and the first goal came from him what a cross and man i, I don't know what to say I, I can just say congratulations to england and germany have nobody to blame but themselves they bottle it they had chances they refused to take those chances and you got punished and for joachim love that's his name right the manager i think it's time for you to go to an island somewhere and continue to sniff your you know your balls and all that because man i think he took that german team backward and it was his his last game you know with with that with that kind of quality in the team i don't know i i didn't really see the system i didn't see anything that you know made me believe that he went for it or maybe you can just blame the players for not being clinical but it was a joy to watch him for the last i don't know eight years or or 10 i don't know how many years he been in charge of germany now he won the world cup he won many trophies with them and i think it's time to go and leave your comment and let me know what do you think about the game and who is going to win it all it's coming home haha <laughs> god bless you don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a like